The Justice League of America is an animated television series produced by Filmation Studios and broadcast on the CBS network from 1967 to 1968. The installments featuring the Justice League of America would air among a rotation of various DC superheroes as part of the Superman Aquaman Hour of Adventure. Just as the Superboy installments were placed in between Superman adventures, so too would the Justice League be placed in between each Aquaman adventure. Each episode would feature the entire roster of adult DC superheroes Filmation currently had the rights for at their disposal. Aquaman, King of the Seven Seas, Hawkman, the Winged Avenger, The Atom, Tiny Mighty Might, Green Lantern, Sentinel of the Spaceways, The Flash, the Fastest Man Alive, and finally the Man of Steel himself, Superman, would make up the Justice League of America. That does it, Justice Leaguers. Now, back to Earth! The Justice League of America was conceived as the current day incarnation of the Justice Society of America by Gardner Fox within the pages of The Brave and the Bold, issue number 28 in the year 1960. This conglomeration of DC Comics' most popular heroes proved to be a great success, and the Justice League of America would soon go on to have their very own title in the following year. Okay, Mighty Mike! At this point, William Dozer, producer of the Adam West Batman television series, had the rights to both Batman as well as Wonder Woman, so they wouldn't be featured in this television series, and neither would the founding member, John Jones, the Martian Manhunter from Mars. I am John Jones, leader of the Justice League. Similar to his fate on Super Friends, the legendary superpower show in 1984, Aquaman would only appear in the opening credits of the Justice League of America and wouldn't actually be featured in any of the three episodes. My ability to talk with fish is of no help, Wonder Woman. Despite the series' short run, the popularity of the Justice League would continue and led to the similarly themed Super Friends who frequently met in the Great Hall of the Justice League. There would also be a Justice League animated series in 2001, which followed hot on the heels of the previous animated series that had come before it, such as Batman, Superman, and Batman Beyond, which in fact had its own future version of the Justice League. This isn't up for discussion. Like it or not, Batman stays. You hold off the invaders, Green Lantern. I'll push the Earth back. The Filmation Justice League of America series would seem to echo the fears of the 2001 Justice League animated series producers that, with Superman on the Justice League, the rest of the leaguers could, in fact, become redundant and find themselves with little to do. Incredible! Superman is returning Earth to orbit! Over, peanut. Roger. However, there's a major difference between giving every member of the team a vital role to play. Come with me. Sir, I intercepted and translated the message myself. Give me your hand. I can't lock on your signal. You're moving too fast. I can do that. I can do that! I can do that! I can do that! Compensating gravitational pull! And just making Superman your whooping boy to prove that things are going really, really bad. <laughs> Meanwhile, letting guys like Batman and Wolverine swoop in to save the day. Now you've done it! Yes, you can learn a lesson from this too, X-Men movies and cartoons. You should be all about the teamwork. Your teammates are not intended to be literal human rungs on the ladder so that you can deliver your tail punch, okay Wolverine? You got that? You've got nothing to worry about. DO NOT BELIEVE HIM!
too, Cloud. Don't forget. Mm. Calling Justice League. Need help. Urgent. More recently, Smallville provided their own take on the League in the episode, Justice. Let's go, Justice Leaguers! 